Hey, this is GLS, and welcome back to the For the Love of Sports. This week, we're talking about Victor Wembanyama. Let's start things off with a little, little bit about him, just by searching him up on <laughs> Google. But, obviously, he's French. He's loved in the news by ESPN. And Bleacher Report. <laughs> he's from France. French boy, obviously. He's very tall. Seven foot two. He also has a seven foot nine wingspan, and this is also disputed. He might actually be seven foot four. He plays exceptionally well on the Metropolitan's ninety two team. As you can see, twenty four points in his first game back in France. That's insane. <laughs> that really is insane. LNB, League of Basketball. He doesn't even weigh that much. <laughs> the shooting for him is pretty good. He has the NBA likable face. I guess that's something. <laughs> but look at look at how Bro looks. That's insane. My arms are not that big, as you can tell, I'm 5'8", so I'm not that tall, <laughs> but this guy is absolutely insane. He is lanky, I didn't, how can a human look like this? Yeah, 7'4", in this title right here. Who is this against? Mika, I don't I don't know who that is, but he's getting smacked up in the face here. And he's still reaching the ball. <laughs> this guy is something else. His stats are seemingly subpar for what he's kind of put up to be. Although his minutes per game are not even close to how big a, like, a regular game is, which I believe is 48 minutes in all of those leagues. His stats are disappointing, but they're getting better. Putting up his per 36 minutes Obviously, points are a lot better. 18.4 points per 36 minutes. Not bad. And he's 473 from the field. 260 from three. And 605 from two. Not bad. But considering he's in whatever this is, the L LNB. I forgot what it's actually called. I think it called it the Liga. 703 free throw percent, really. Offensive rebounds, 2. Defensive rebounds, 8 per 36. 10 rebounds per 36. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad at all. 1.5 assists, 1.7 steals, 3.5 blocks, and TOV, which turnovers. <laughs> Not good. Too many turnovers. And personal fouls. Five. That's a little bit of a yikes. <laughs> but he's more physical, so... You know, it, it is. It is what it is. He's a big body person. He can throw his... A little bit under... Sized weight around. 209 pounds of himself. But, you know, it is what it is. He's pretty good. 9.7 points in playoffs, which is last season. That is half of what his regular was. So, obviously, not as good. <laughs> Appearances on leaderboards. Top 10 in blocks for this. 
for the France League, Euro League, and then French French League. I can't say much about him. And he's a projected first overall pick. So he <laughs> He's gotta be good. And comparing to people like Scooter Henderson, which I believe I can search up from here. Which I think is his name. I'll actually search it up here. Yeah, it is Scoot. Scooter Henderson. Where is the stats at? Give me uh, basketball ref. I can't see what I'm typing. <laughs> Oh no. No, that's not what I meant. That's concerning that safe search is off. Scoot. Um, Scoot Henderson. Per game, 14 per game. Let's look at per 36. 20 points. I mean, he does play a lot more minutes, so. But, his points per 36 is a lot higher. Obviously, in a lot more things. Turnovers, 3.7, more turnovers. Less personal fouls. Less blocks. More steals. More assists. Less rebounds. I guess more offensive rebounds, <laughs> which is nice. Better free throw. Worse, two points. Where's three points? So these these top two guys, they have a lot to work on, if I'm being brutally honest. It could be a lot better. It's just all depending on how they do in the NBA. It really is. Now, <laughs> the main meat of this this entire video. Teams that would trade for him. And what those trades would look like depending on these teams that I would <laughs> put in this list. Obviously, any team can trade for him. So that's why I'm putting players that they could use, not picks. Because if I used picks, any team could do it. It'll be my personal preference on what teams would do it. Like, <laughs> the, the Lakers, obviously, <laughs> would like to, but... The odds of them doing it are not very high, unless LeBron leaves this upcoming season. And if that's the case, and they don't get Bronny, and <laughs> then LeBron James moves to that other team, obviously they need a replacement, but he's not the right position. They wouldn't replace whatever Wembyama is with whatever LeBron is. I believe LeBron is a shooting guard. And I believe Wembyama is either a center or a power forward. So, they don't mix. <laughs> they really don't mix. So I have all 30 teams of the NBA here right now. And we're going to click I guess, on the team. Let me just check this with Boston. Okay. How do I get to the rosters? <laughs> Statistics. Okay, that, that works. It's statistics. So, for we're going to go through all 30 teams. Look at their rosters. And decide... If they're gonna be here. <laughs> Does Boston need Victor Wembanyama? Let's look at height. They have Luke Comet, v Von Le, Gallinari, Kevin Gale, Al Horford, Robert Williams III, Blake Griffin, Jason Tatum, Justin Jackson, Sam Hauser, Jalen Brown, Grant Williams, Derek White. Malcolm Brogdon, Marcus Smart, 
Peyton Pritchard, DJ Davison. And that is not their head coach right now. <laughs> Uh, I don't. They don't really need more height or people that are down below in weight like these guys. They have their big guys in height and in weight, <laughs> so I don't think Boston needs them. Brooklyn. This is gonna be like an obvious no. Let's look at height. They have good height. And honestly, when Binyama could be a better Ben Simmons since this guy sucks. He is awful. He is also eight years younger and probably better. So I'm gonna put Glenn down here. New York Knicks. They don't need height, and they don't need younger talent. That's a that's an easy. They're not going on the list. The Sixers. Do they have height? They have Joel, Joel Embiid. They don't really need younger talent since they're good. I mean, they have Foster Jr. They have Foster Jr. Whoops. They have Maxi. They have Reed, Melton, Charlie Brown. <laughs> they have Thigh Buell. And then they have their older players like Harden, P.J. Tucker, Joel Embiid, which, yeah, I think they're set. They don't need the height. They're a tall team. Toronto. This is a team that might need it. 3-2. and two. In the, uh, the, uh, Reason. Do they need height? Coloco, rookie. He's pretty good. They have the center height. As you can tell, that their average center height is like six foot ten because it's weighted with these two. Do they have the young talent? They have tons of young talent. Look at this. I guess I should do that. <laughs> they have tons of young talent. Benton, Downton, Champagne, Scotty Barnes, who just won Rookie of the Year, Coloco, and Ron Harper. They don't need it. Chicago. Does Chicago need height? From what I remember, no. They're set on height. Are they set on young talent? Terry, Io, Malcolm Hill, Simonovich. Simonovich, rather. He went to Mega Basket. <laughs> From what I see, I don't think Chicago needs him. This is just high value. I don't want to go too in depth and I don't know enough about it. Cleveland. This is going to be like an automatic no, but, you know, Lopez, Mobley, Jared Allen, the tons of young talent in the two Mobleys. Uh, they have Okoro, Garland, Jared Allen, Donovan Mitchell, Karis LeVert, Kevin Love, Robin Lopez. I I guess they just need to fill a roster. It doesn't look like they have enough players. And they have a lot of young. Didn't even know he went to Michigan. LeVert. 
It's kind of cool. But no, Chicago does not need him. Neither do they really have the older guys to trade for him. <laughs> if they did not get first overall. Let's look at the Pistons. Pistons, I'm going to say no, because I know my Pistons. We do have height, Jalen Dern, and then let's know Mar Marvin Bagley, who's injured, so we might need someone. And let's see if uh, he is still on this roster. We have a lot of rookies. These five. We have a young five already. With a six. Seven and eight. A nine. And I guess that's eleven. So we have a lot of older guys we could trade. Which would take away our experience. But you know, it, <laughs> let's not talk about that. We are 0-4 in the preseason though. We don't need the young talent. And we don't need the height. We do, I think, have the shooters in Cade. We don't have a lot of rebounders though. <laughs> I haven't said this about any other team, <laughs> and I know I shouldn't be putting them there, but I'm going to do my Pistons, just because I want to see what I can do with them. Pacers. Immediately, they have good height. Oh, whoops. They have good young talent in Mathurin, Nemhard, and Kendall Brown. Also with Duarte, Queen, and Taylor, and Isaiah Jackson, I don't know enough about. This guy is going to be <laughs> probably G League, but, you know. <laughs> I'm... I don't think, because they have Halliburton, who's really good, Jalen Smith, who's pretty good as well, Daniel Theus, who's kind of iffy, but he healed. I think the Pacers could benefit with someone like him. have gone 0-5 in the preseason. Wow. Obviously they have lots of height in Giannis, Portis, Ibaka, Joe Inglés, Middleton, Camp, Thanasis, Drew Holiday. Forgot about him. But they don't have a lot of a lot of young talent. They have Bo Champ, AJ Green. Don't know how to say his name. Jordan Noara. These guys are good. Before their ages as well. I don't think Milwaukee would have a use for these guys anytime soon. So. Ah. <laughs> so I'm not going to put Milwaukee. We are only two divisions through. Wow. Okay. Atlanta's going to be a no, but I'm still going to look at them. I mean... Yeah, height, maybe. They have AJ Griffin and Terry Martin. 
Jalen Johnson, Krejci, forgot about that, Trent Forrest, Okungowu, Okungwu, whatever, I don't know how to pronounce his name, the other Bogdanovich, Bogdan Bogdanovich and not Bojan, and Justin Holiday. there's Trey Young, DeAndre Hunter, Aaron Holiday, Dejounte Murray. They're good. Charlotte. They have multiple <laughs> seven footers. They have five centers. They have tons of young talent, too. Charlotte's going to be a no. We can make some plum lead down there. <laughs> Gordon Hayward. LaMelo, obviously. And no Miles Bridges, because he... Let's not talk about that. <laughs> uh, Miami. I doubt Miami's going to be on this list. They have good height. Jovic, Adebayo, Adonis, Jimmy Butler, Duncan Robinson, Tyler Harrow, Olapito, Drew Smith, Kyle Lowry. They're good on talent. They're good on young players. Haywood Highsmith from Wheeling Jesuit. Jamal Cain from my Oakland Grizzlies Duncan Robinson it's pretty good and obviously Adonis has a lot of years <laughs> with this team <laughs> I think they're set Orlando height first <laughs> they have ball ball forget about that okay Mobamba, Lawrence Wagner. They have tons of rookie stuff. Caleb Houston, Paolo Benchero, who I believe is out. Kevin Harris, Jalen Suggs, Franz Wagner, Jimmy Okiki, RJ Hampton, and Myra Schofield, Cole Anthony. You know, this team is good. There's no problems with this team. Orlando is going to be a very good team this year. Washington. Kristaps Porzingis. <laughs> and then they don't really... They have a lot of... I guess... Middle height guys. These guys are still pretty tall though. They have not much young experience, I guess. A lot of one year guys. With uh, Corey Kispert leading the one year guys and then Anthony Gill leading the two year guys and then just Johnny Davis. He's still pretty good. I think he's going to be good in the league. And then the big name guys with Monte Morris, Kyle Kuzma, Chris Tapps, Bradley Beal, anyone else, Kispert, and I guess just Johnny Davis. Isaiah Todd, I wouldn't really call a big name guy yet. And now on to the Western Conference. Denver. DeAndre Jordan, Nikola Jokic, Michael Porter Jr. They're set. They have a lot of rookies too. Gillespie, Wyatt, Watson, Braun. Michael Porter Jr. 
And then Jokic has only been in the league for seven years. Now they have Ish Smith. <laughs> He's been on way too many teams. They have Contavious Caldwell Pope, who says he's from Georgia University, but he's actually from Michigan University for most of his career. <laughs> now, Minnesota, who I don't even know. What are they doing? Rudy Gobert, Carl Anthony Towns, Luca Garza, because he decided to go to Minnesota instead of staying with Detroit. Eric Peschel, D'Angelo Russell, Ant. And then the younger players, Wendell Moore, Josh Minot, Minot, there's two T's there. Luca Garza, Anthony Edwards, they're good, they're sad. They don't need young talent or the height. Okay, see, they could do a lot with this guy. They're five and one in the preseason. They have Chet, Alexei Pokusevsky, Moskala, that's pretty good. Then Jalen Uzmani Dang, Marquise Chris, Josh Goody, Robinson Earl, Gil Jess Alexander. Trey Burke, but lots of rookies, lots of them, and then lots of one years. Wow, that team's dangerous. Okay. <laughs> uh. okay. Yeah. <laughs> Very young team. No, no person above. 10 years. Experience, wow. I want to see what OKC can do. Oh, whoops. I forgot to capitalize city. And then Portland. Going by height. Sar, Nurkic, Eubanks, Watford, Jeremy Grant, very funny, Jabari Walker, Shaden Sharp, Keon Johnson, Gary Payton, Damian Lillard, who signed the weirdest contract extension I've ever seen, and it starts in 63 million in 2026 27. That's insane. That's a two years, $122 million deal. Is he worth that much? Pro most definitely not. <laughs> but the dude's the star of Portland, so. do have two good rookies and lots of one years that could do some good things so don't think Portland will do anything with them unless they try to dame which doesn't make sense <laughs> Utah this is gonna be a no they have a big tall rookie in Walker Kessler Juzang, Agbaji, Fontecchio, not sure who he is, and then Walker Kessler, obviously. They have Lennox, Markkanen, Jared Vanderbilt, Alexander Walter, Walker, Talon Horton Tucker, Markkanen, Rudy Gay, and 
that's really it. This, these guys could be the team to draft them, but if they don't, they have the assets. I think it's any team's dream to have two guys that are really young and be this tall. So, that's why I'm putting Utah. Golden State. They have the height. They have the young talent, even though they don't even need it. So, Golden State is a quick no. Clippers. Oh, whoop. They have two seven foot of her above centers already. They're kind of young as well. They have Preston, what's the Diabate, Brandon Boston. And they have a young Moses Brown, obviously. He's the tall dude. Do they have the star power? They have Reggie Jackson and John Wall. And obviously Kawhi. Luke Kennard. Don't think they need it at all. Lakers. <laughs> this is the team I prefaced with. They have the height. They have Jamie jo Damian Jones. AD. Thomas Bryant. They have LeBron. They have Matt Ryan. <laughs> and then Max Christie, Scotty Pippen Jr. Jr. Cole Swidler, Austin Reeves. Kendrick Nunn. Golden Grizz. They have a lot of young talent, and then they obviously have good old talent in LeBron James, Russell Westbrook, Pat, Pat Bev, <laughs> AD, Dennis Schroeder, Damian Jones. This is a weird team, but they do have, I guess, the need for a rebuild. So the Lakers are going on the list. Phoenix. They have the height. And they have the star power in Aiton, McCall Bridges, Jake Crowder, Devin Booker, Andrew Shamit, and Chris Paul. Do they have the young people? They have no rookies. And I guess they do have three backup guys. So I guess Phoenix, if they wanted to go into a rebuild, would use Chris Paul, be on Bone J. Crowder. So I'm going to put Phoenix. Sacramento. This team's draft luck is so, so unlucky. Sabanis. They have four good centers. They have quite a bit of rookies too. Keegan Murray. Obviously Jalen Ivey went past him. I think this is the team of weird names. With the exception of Keegan Murray, which is normal. They have Chima Maneke, Kian Ellis, Davion Mitchell, Nemias Cueto, Terrence Davis is a normal name, KZ Okpala, Jizemi Matu, Kevin Werder, Malik Monk, De'Aaron Fox, forgot he was on the team, if I'm honest. Demontis, Demontis Sabanis, Richwan Holmes, Trey Lyles, Matthew Della Vadova, Alex Lynn, Harrison Barnes. 
obviously in reverse order of experience. That's a lot of weird names. And the Mavs. They have a lot of games to go through. Jesus. They have the height. They do need one more center, though, if I'm being honest. JaVale McGee and Dwight Powell, though, is pretty good, although they are old. I think I'm going to put the Mavs on here. Jaden Hardy is their only rookie. McKinley Wright, the fourth, is their only one year. They have two four years, Josh Green and Tyler Dorsey. Star power is interesting. Doncic, obviously. Luke is amazing. Spencer Dinwiddie. And JaVale McGee, as well as Tim Hardaway Jr. I think Dallas should go on this. Houston. Marinovich. <laughs> He's already a 7 4 center. He's pretty hefty. And then Alper and Shangun. And Bruno Fernando with their centers. They have quite a few rookies in days. Ty Ty Washington, Jabari Smith, Hudgens, and Eason, as well as Jalen Green, who sucks. You, he sucks. Josh Christopher, Dashenix, Garuba, and Alpin Shangun, as well as two years, and Martin Tate, and then Kevin Porter Jr., Bruno Fernando, Garrison Matthews, and then there are three veterans. That team is very young. They could use getting rid of these guys. But Bobin could stay. <laughs> I'm going to put Houston on here. It's a lot of teams. Mem. Mem Grizz. They have Steven Adams. I think they're fine. They have Kennedy Chain there. Ryba, Vince Williams, Kevin Lofton, David Roddy, as well as Adama and Zay Williams. For Star Power, they have Ja, Conchar, Jaron Jackson, Stephen Adams, and Danny Green. I think they're fine. I'm not going to add them. Pelicans. Tall Pelicans. Jesus. All three are six foot eleven. <laughs> Juancho Gomez. They have the height. And I guess they have the young talent. Herbert Jones is insane. Trey Murphy is also pretty good. Zion, the big star. Juancho. Brandon Ingram. Larry and CJ McCollum. Could never pronounce this guy's name, but he's there. New Orleans says not be kind of a pretender. But would they benefit from having I don't think they would benefit from having uh, Victor Wembanyama. They already have Jason Hay Jackson Hayes, rather. Who's their younger center, center forward. And finally, San Antonio. <sighs> Jacob, can't say his last name. They have good height at center. 
Joey Dang. It's pretty old. Lots of rookies, the most rookies, I think. Tied most. What's your school, boy? Did you come straight from high school? <laughs> they have So Chan, Branham, and they have Weiss Camp, which I've actually heard of. That's really it. Spurs don't have many people. I <laughs> think they could really benefit from having, well, I guess they have Langford, but older player, older players are gone, and bring in newer players that could, like Wembenyama again. Younger height, since I think the three oldest, no not the three oldest, but three of their oldest players are all their centers, which is really weird. They need a younger center, so San Antonio is a must. Oh. <laughs> and that is this part of the video done. <laughs> These are our teams, and I guess on the next page you will see what I will add next. So to figure out which team will be traded to, or what teams will be centered around the trade for Wembenyama, and I can't find a trade machine that will actually allow trading of picks because conditions exist and they suck. But, based off of this picture, by Kirk Goldsberry, if I can zoom in, the, uh, the Spurs got cut off here, and so, all the way up to the Lakers is where it ends, and all of these teams have a chance to get first overall and Victor Wembanyama. So, this list, obviously Brooklyn can't get it, um, Phoenix can't, I don't think Dallas can, Dallas cannot, so the Brooklyn, um, Brooklyn, Phoenix, and Dallas are the three that need to trade for him based off of this alone. <laughs> so sending the lottery, the Jazz. <laughs> the Jazz get first overall. So with this, Utah is out of condition. That's not what I want. There you go. Players to trade if they don't get it. If they didn't get it, trade to second overall team, which is the Kings. Which is kind of funny. I don't have the Kings on here. <laughs> uh, just because I don't think they need them. So, the Jazz would have to trade to the Kings. So, just give me a second. I will put down on this document the draft order so I can keep it more readily available and I'll bring up the NBA trade machine. Now as you can see I have a lot of tabs open. The NBA trade machine with the Utah is open and the draft order. Now it's time to figure out what players that this team could trade. Using young and older talent that this team could use 
Let's open up Brooklyn. Adding a second team to this. I don't know where to put my, uh, whatever. Add team two. Oh, uh, where's Brooklyn at? There it is. Let's just use, uh, Sexton as a piece, placeholder, whatever. The Nets would like to get rid of Ben Simmons. They probably do. And they need younger talent to go away with him. So Let's look at their younger talent, Williams, which they have here, but they need their younger talent, but San Antonio, whoops. Let's give them the young talent that is De'Ron Sharp. There he is. And I think they should get some, maybe one other young guy, but I don't know who else. Let's give them a taller guy, Kessler Edwards. And I know this is probably not good. This is not a good trade. And it's probably not going to go through. And I realize now, after I come back to this, that uh, Sharp and Edwards are trade exceptions, so they <laughs> don't think they can be traded. <laughs> but let's write them down. Some Sharp Edwards for Brooklyn. And let's see if this trade goes through. Of course, <laughs> adjust trade and close Brooklyn because I'm not gonna fix this. <laughs> and go to Detroit. So putting in Detroit, putting back in Sexton, which is right there, and then looking at Detroit. But this process is going to take a while. Right away, we can give Buddy Boheim away. I don't personally don't want him as a a Pistons uh, fan, but Boheim, Braxton Key can go. He's not. He's big, but he's not good for us. Mude didn't know even know we had him. Not much I don't think we can give away. Who is that? <laughs> Who is that? Who is Bernard? Does not say. Okay. And I think getting rid of a few older players is also beneficial. Like Kemba Walker, Alex Burks. Actually, no, not Alex Burks. Kemba Walker, because he's still refusing to, uh, you know, go away. So Kemba Walker's gone. Who's on a big deal right now? No one. Kevin Knox. He's 23. Has a lot of years of experience already. I want to keep him. Corey Joseph, I think we can get rid of. Obviously, this is not going to work in any way, but I'm going to write them down and then.
try the trade after that. So Boheim, Key, Mude, Walker, Joseph. Let's try the trade. Obviously, the trade failed because we're using Colin Sexton. And those two are. You can't even read it. <laughs> even though I'm zooming in. Zooming in. Looking closer to my screen. <laughs> so now Detroit is done. And now we have to do the Pacers, which are right there. So they all already Colin Sexton. So let's look at the Pacers. Obviously, young talent is needed. I forgot about trade exceptions. <laughs> uh, what could these guys give away? Obviously, young talent, but they have a lot of that. They have a third in them hard, Kendall Brown, Duarte, Queen, Taylor, you know, the stuff I already went through. I think a player that they would be willing to give, give up is, or players are Queen, Taylor, and Brissett, or whoever this is. Queen Taylor and that guy. <laughs> so you can't trade Queen. Queen, never mind. Silver this is also with them. Give them silver this. And there's that guy. <laughs> so. <laughs> I'm going to just write these guys down. Obviously, the trade isn't going to work, but these are the players I think that would <laughs> the Pacers would trade away for Wembenyama, along with many picks. So, uh, oh, I already forgot. <laughs> That's not how you spell his name. <laughs> it looks right. That's right. <laughs> and now close Indiana. Try the trade. Of course, adjust trade and change it to OKC. Which is right there. Clicking Colin Sexton. Who is a trade exception? And the OKC would use. Preferably a younger person. So a person like Giddy. I'm gonna put in. Williams, Giddy, and an older person like Muscala. Giddy, Williams, Muscala. So here's Josh Giddy. Nope. Josh Giddy, Williams, and Muscala. It's not going to work. Since all three of them are trade exceptions, all four of these guys are trade exceptions, but. Giddy. Williams. Moscala. There. <laughs> Trying this trade means. It fails, <laughs> of course. I close OKC, just trade, 
and adjust to the king's. Because here, the king's got a second, just got first. So now, we use if Sacramento is second, or Sacramento is first. For a little while, I couldn't figure out what placeholder people I could have for either team. So, <laughs> whoever I put from Sacramento, whoever this is, is a placeholder for first overall, and Sexton is now a placeholder holder for this instance alone for second overall. <laughs> That's kind of what Utah needs to do if they want first. Obviously, they can't have both, <laughs> and I don't think Utah even has the people to get both at all. <laughs> I mean, they have Walker Kessler, but uh, <laughs> look at the people they have. I mean, these three people would have to go immediately, plus a forward. They'd have to give up a whole team. It, it just won't work. <laughs> so, instead, they'd have to give up one or two younger players. And I'm just gonna... I'm gonna give them Bomaro. Right, right click, okay. I'm gonna give them Bomaro, who is... oh. Wrong one. Young. He's a forward. And from Barcelona. He's also pretty tall, so. Yeah. <laughs> eh, that's really how that's gonna go. <laughs> Let's write that down. <laughs> Utah. Who is it? Bolmaro? Bolmaro. That's who. Oh, whoops. <sighs> Lakers and Jazz. Obviously, this trade isn't going to go through. Just trade. Sacramento is now LA. Hmm. <laughs> Let's give them. Well, let's close Utah first. Switch to LA. Let's give them a rookie. Max Christie. Maybe. Cole Swider would be good. Obviously, we'd have put in Cole Sexton. Cole Swider. Where is he? There he is. Let's give him Matt Ryan for the fun. And I want to keep the West Westbrook Beverly kind of interior <laughs> duel going on. So let's give them give Matt Ryan. Let's give him. Can I give him Walker? Nope. Let's give him Brown. Troy Brown. Can't. <laughs> uh, look. Hmm. Bryant? Thomas Bryant? Nope. <laughs> Damian Jones. You can. Obviously, it won't work, but. Swider Ryan Jones. And obviously, check if it works. It doesn't. Close the Lakers. Change to the Suns. Phoenix. Click Sexton. 
and look at the Suns. Let's give them. They have no rookies. A Kogi. Why do they have so little players? And they're still above the cap by a lot. <laughs> you're, you're paying a lot of players here. <laughs> this guy's getting paid 5k a year. A Kogi. I almost just closed the zones on accident. Um... Hmm. Let's give them... Hmm. So they have a Kogi and Wayne, right? 6465. Let's give them Biombo. Just because. I can't. Never mind. I can give them Chris Paul. That'd be kind of funny. <laughs> Paul, the Kogi, Wayne, right? How do you spell his name? No W. Okay. It's not like we know. Okay. Try it. It's not going to work. I just tried. Close the suns. Go to the Mavericks. Which are right there. Click Sexton. Look at the Mavericks. Go by experience. Give them um, height. Josh Green. Josh Green guard. If I can, and I can. I'm not going to give him JaVale. <laughs> Might give him hard away. You know what, maybe just to <laughs> mess with Dinwiddie again, I'll give him Dinwiddie. <laughs> Green and Dinwiddie. Houston. Obviously this won't work. Houston. Sexton. Look at Houston. Give me the experience. Lots of rookies. Give them Jalen Green because I don't like Jalen Green. <laughs> Gives me a reason to hate the Jazz. <laughs> These guys need height, right? They have Bobin. <laughs> I could give them Bobin. He only has seven years of experience in the league. Wow. It's just the oldest on the team. Yeah, sorry, Bobin. You're going to the Jazz. <laughs> Green Mar something Mar Yanovich Whatever <laughs> Trade failed, obviously <laughs> And now finally San Antonio Which San Antonio? Had <laughs> fifth. They fell all that way. Um, well, obviously, Sexton. And now we go to San Antonio. Look at how many rookies they have. 
give um, someone. It's a lot of freshman rookies, Jesus. <laughs> they have three made people. Well, Wesley's gone. Wesley and Hall, I have decided, are gone. Like Wesley? Nope. Wesley? Hall? <laughs> um, who else should I give him? There's not really anyone I can. Where Johnson at? Kelvin Johnson. This team is so young. They can't give him Diang or Dermot. Oh, I can't give him McDermott. Hmm. Wesley Hall and McDermott. <laughs> Lots of mistakes. What is happening? <sighs> the likelihood of this happening to any of these teams, obviously they need to add picks, but, you know... <laughs> There's the X. Let's try to actually get a trade from these guys. And I don't know how to tell there's a trade exception. Jazz are over tax threshold because they're getting McDermott. That uh, be getting some like <laughs> you can't take anyone. Wow. I guess no one wants to be on the Utah Jazz. <laughs> no, just as a recap, since this video is over an hour long already. <laughs> This is just the players that teams could use to trade for Wembenyama. Wembenyama. <laughs> Brooklyn. Ben Simmons. Sharpen Edwards. Detroit. Buddy Bohan, Braxton Key, Something Amude. Walker and Corey Joseph. Indiana. Taylor. Servidus. Patadzdi. Oklahoma City. Josh Giddy. Williams, Muscala, Utah, Bomaro in the second overall, Lakers, Swider, Matt Ryan, Jones, Phoenix, Chris Paul, Okogi, Wainwright, Dallas, Green and Spencer Dinwiddie, Boston, Boston, Houston, <laughs> Jalen Green and Boban Marinovich, Marjanovich, I don't know his last name. <laughs> and San Antonio, Wesley, Hall, and McDermott. That took way too long. <laughs> so, there you have it. An amateur's take on <laughs> what the heck it would take to trade for Wembenyama right now. Consider, uh, assuming that team the trades for them has first overall, and you take Wimbanyama first. It takes a lot, and what I said isn't even including picks that you need to trade. It's just players that I would say send out there. <laughs> Obviously with Brooklyn you'd have to send more picks than players, considering we have Simmons and two young players. But Simmons is bad, so you need to send more if you didn't send Simmons. 
and a team like Houston would not really need to send too many picks since you're sending away someone who really is Wimbenyama, but then you're sending in a uh, locker room cancer and Jalen Green. So, <laughs> send me your thoughts in the comments and maybe I'll fix this closer to the NBA draft. See ya.